welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? Desert Storm is what I named this Amiga because it kind of reminds me of something like that. Some kind of desert camo. Just going to carefully slide that there, watching out for the metal bits. Here's our real hard drive. It's the real one. I'm going to pull the connector off the motherboard carefully. IBM Travel Star 20 Giger. Uh, the partition's messed up. Wonder why. And uh, this was made in December 2000. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. So that's the end of that. Uh, I have this Yan San Parallel ATA solid state drive. Yeah, she's solid state. Probably has a thumb drive in here wired up. Don't know. Never opened it. It's a 44 uh, pin. And I marked red one and whatever for the power side and one and 44. So I'm going to put this in the cradle and we're going to put the cradle back in the thing and see how it holds up. Now it's got the old school mounts, which means the screws are different than today's stuff. Now this might have something on it. I don't know. I built this for my 4000 originally, and I think it's still got the 4000 operating system on it, which is cool. It will probably yell about the library, so I will put install in there. Load modules looking for something, so. Assign failed. Too many, what did that say? Terminated due to errors. Picasso 96, bad luck. What volume is this? 2018, that's mine. A lot of load module stuff. Let's just keep failing and see what happens. It won't load Workbench, but it's got something on it. So I'm gonna boot off of this. I'm gonna nuke this drive. I don't care what's on it. 4.30 I'm supposed to wake up. 4.45. I gotta be out the door by five. This is backwards. It's supposed to say remove one arming and the Amiga tag was supposed to be this way. There we go. Mr. David sent me that. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. So this is three, install 314. And look, it's there. Everything's here. It's got stuff on it. Look at all this stuff on here. DH1, ADS, icon library, sysinfo, DH2, all sorts of crap. Go ADF. Three, two, one. All right, so what I'm going to do, all right, I'm going to format system. Because this is already set up. Now this has a uh, two gig partition and then DH1 is about two gigs and DH2 is about 10 gigs. So, we're just going to go through the install, 314, and we'll see if this works. One second, 12.49 a.m. What is going on with this thing? So the hard drive failed. Program DH0, program failed. That's, that's great. That was on the second disc. I'm going to... Go into HD Toolbox and change the thing bobber back to 314. Because I think it was 32 something. And I think that's my problem. I'm taking newer I'm taking newer workbenches and installing an old workbench on them. When the file system is the newer one. And I think they're having some fight. And I'm gonna show you what I mean as soon as this boots. Okay. So when I partition drive here, this DH0. If I go to advanced options and then add or update the file system, I'm going to load a file system from L4613. Okay, let me cancel. See how that's 47.4? That's 3.2.1. Let me delete them. Okay, so add a file system, L. Okay. There. 46.13. Now it will work. And this 4 gig is not the drive. That is hilarious. 
and it's not the drive at all. But that's okay. Because that's what was saved in RAM last time I used this. I don't know why it says SanDisk 4 gig. What? So 2, 11, 11, 11. I don't know what's going on. They're all DH2. DH0, DH1, DH2. This is free space. So I'm going to run through the install, and if I run into a problem, I'll be back. Okay, so that was it, and that's probably the same problem that I have with this card. No click, title clock, magic menu. And I need these libraries right here, so... Or devs, DOS drivers for PCMCIA. So we'll go up here, parents, devs, DOS drivers, devs, DOS drivers, compact flash, copy. Let's pull this disk out. And let's reboot it. Let's see what happens. Does it boot or does it blow up? And I go to bed. Hard drive is hard driving. Oh, it loaded though. It's bitching about MMU libraries. No problem. I didn't put them on there. NTSC high res laced. This monitor corrects flicker. So it just looks ultimately beautiful. Dell U2410F. All right. Let me run this info real quick. It does see 60 to 30, no FPU, but it does have an MMU. This is 51 megahertz, I believe the terrible fire is. 51.8, mainly because of fast RAM. 17 point times faster. Cold shower pull. Get out of the shower, you give it up. Make you feel better. We are 1.98 times and half the power of an A4000, even at this speed. It's an O30. Drives, how does this hard drive fare and speed? It's 512 bytes, so I didn't crank it up because I forgot. 1.2 because it's an Amiga 1200's IDE port, regardless if it's an SSD, 1.4. So DH2 is a larger drive, 1.6. DH1, now they're all 512 byte blocks. DH1 is an 11 gig drive, I think. 1.4, which is standard for a PIO Mode 0, and this PIO Mode 0 SSD is uh, pretty cool. Okay, I deleted the other file system, so this is the only file system it has. Great, that's why it's going to work now. Fix my colors. Install. Rip through this real quick so it looks normal, and then I'm back in action on Project Desert Storm. Let's give it a reboot one last time. And we'll see what we get on the final boot of Project Desert Storm with a new Parallel ATA SSD. Oh, I gotta put MMU li libraries in there. That's why. Alright, forgot my backdrop. And window snapshot. All. Mega Ball AGA. Love this game. You used to be able to hit E for everything or... There you go. So that is the 1200 all fixed. Project Desert Storm has a new hard drive. And that's how you kind of build them. And my mistake on the fast file system. Because I'm going from new to old and it screwed me up. i got to figure out that recovery alert. I don't know if it's the terrible fire or the... I don't know. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.